Hello friends, so in this video we are going to discuss that there are many many messages I got in my mail that why good thing happens to the bad people and why bad thing happens to the good people. <clears throat> For example, I will give you some example in that. During the first and the second corona wave, many of uh, the people lost their lives including one of my friend, uh, the person was really very good and she lost her life and she was having seven year old child. Two people are preparing very well and the person whose preparation is very good, he is not able to succeed in the final exam. And the person who is cunning, appears to be cunning and he doesn't basically, you know, study also well and he gets through. And uh, the uh, other example we can see there are many many manipulations people do, correct? No? And they get sometimes they appears to that they are getting succeeded in their life. They do a lot of manipulations. They do break the rule, a lot of cheating they do. Still they succeed. So some of the students, you know, they get disturbed by looking at these things, and some of them they started cursing God. So. Uh, this video, a short video, I'm going to tell you basically you know, how you can have balance of mind while observing these things. For example, good people are having bad things in their lives and bad people somehow they are getting succeed, succeeded. So first of all, we have to see that, you know, there is no pure demon and no, you can say, pure sane person in this Kaliwa. Because I follow some scriptures, Hindu scriptures in my life. That is the reason I know some knowledge of that, that I'm sharing with you, that how to handle the situation. We say Ravana, Kansa, they were out and out demons. But if you see, we have some demon part in our heart. Correct, no? Uh, sometimes we behave demonically and sometimes we are sane. Let us say 80% sane, 20% are demonic. And some people, 90% demonic, 10% sane. For example, the people who take bribes. You know, I will tell you my personal example. I think some of you may be knowing that, you know, I was all alone uh, because my I lost my parents at, at an early age. So I used to get pension of my parent, father because my father was, a, you know, he was a principal at one college. So um, my, I used to get 2100 rupees pension for my father. So before release, we have to go to the government treasury, district government treasury. I was basically, I was minor at that time, minor. That's the reason I used to get a scholarship. So still I remember the treasury officer took me 500 rupees to clear the file because all, all the documents are in place. So you know, you know, I also used to wonder why it is happening like this that you know people are taking bread, still they are getting ahead. So some people are having a lot of demonic tendency but such people also whenever it comes to their personal family they will behave sane, they will behave sanely. For example, this person who took me 500 rupees bribe I'm sure something comes, he will also pray to God. <laughs> because some same component is there within his heart also. So, the point I'm making is, everybody is having demonic tendency or sin tendency to different degrees. Depends upon their association they have got. And uh, as primarily we are getting association from our parents, friends, relatives. So, uh, that, that is the concept. So we should not get disturbed by that basically uh, like for example we have something bad thing is happening so we have to improve our we have to thank god that you know even if something uh, bad is happening to us even though our intentions are not good we should still thank and move ahead we should work hard for example you are preparing for competitive examination and you are working hard you are teaching somebody else and the other person gets into it and you are not so don't get disturbed we should thank god that they have given us capacity so that i can work Again work hard, but by looking at the circumstances, if we feel that, you know, you know, God is at blame and other people are at blame, you know, we will develop this demonic tendency more and more. So in every situation, we should tolerate whatever is happening in our life, either good things or bad things, and have faith in God, and certainly success will definitely come to our life at some point of time. We should not get morose. Like, you know, uh, if we see in IITs, every year, one or two people are get, uh, getting suicide, um, you know, su committing suicide, or even the reason, you know, where I mostly I stay, many people commit suicide, either their family problem or job problem. 
So such steps we should never take. Because you know why people should take some such steps? Because they are thinking that you know they have nothing in the life, they are cheated every time and all that. In all those, because these are basically our previous karma that is coming to us. We must have things, done something better in our previous lives and all that. Then some, some karma is coming. So that is the reason I am feeling some re reverses in our life. So we should tolerate it, thank God and work hard. Whatever competitive examinations we are preparing, we should work hard. And I am sure that when we continuously prepare, success will definitely come to our life. You know, I will tell you my example, only one example I have given to you. Uh, because I was struggling all alone. After our 12th class, I was not directly through because my father died that year. So I was not through. Again I prepared, again something else happened in my life. Okay, then again I could not select it. So two solid years, I was struggling and preparing for uh, engineering examination. IIT, I don't know at that time because I was from rural area of UP. So I, but I had always faith in God, that God may be doing this thing to purify myself. So I always have faith in God. And then finally success came to, uh, came to my hand. And then from IITs and I was, I went to IIT and then cracked civil services and you know, you know my story. So have faith in God, work hard and don't go to the extreme uh, consciousness that nobody loves me and all that. God loves you always and a genuine teacher always loves you. So I wish you all the best. Let me know in the comment box if you want me to make video, similar video on any topic. So uh, thank you very much.